Hey, happy Thanksgiving. Welcome to the Big Promo Cast. Uh, on this show, we highlight brands that use custom merch for marketing and promotions to give our audience some ideas for their own campaigns. We'd love it if you left a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. You can also leave a comment on the video version right under the uh, video you're seeing here. If you haven't guessed, this is a pre-recorded show. I'm actually sitting at my dad's house, probably helping him eat dessert or who, who knows what. But I do have some stories. Uh, interesting stuff from White Castle. A gift that keeps on giving from Denny's. Uh, a gift for the Cheetos lover in your life. If you're a Jameson whiskey fan, I've got something for you too. And also a pretty neat candle from Vlasic Pickles. In fact, let's start with that one. Vlasic Pickles has come out with a candle, a pickle scented candle. It looks like a jar of pickles. It's pretty awesome. If you like the smell of pickles, it looks just like a jar. It's got, but I mean, it's, of course, if you, if you picked it up, you wouldn't think it's a jar of pickles because it doesn't slosh around in there, but it looks just like pickles. <laughs> it's one pickly candle. It says on the top. Um, if you're listening to the podcast, this is a, a pick, a jar that looks just like a jar of pickles. It's, I don't know how many ounces of a pickle jar it is, but it looks pretty cool. Um, so if you know somebody that is into candles and into pickles, this would be lovely for them. In fact, let's look at where'd it go. Yeah, all the all the versions they have are all the same. They're not like a there's not like gherkins and all this kind of stuff. Sweet or bread and butter or any of that, but it's just plain old dill pickles. But still. It's pretty cool. That's all I got for that one. Plastic pickles for pickle lovers. Pretty well. This is available right now. Oh, actually, it's sold out, says the website. But And they announced this on National Pickle Day, which was November 14th. I bet you could probably get one eventually if you kept looking. Well, it's probably Thanksgiving where you are when you're listening to this. Maybe it is. But White Castle, you might remember, had a stuffing recipe that uses their sliders to make stuffing as an ingredient, which is kind of cool. They just announced their holiday merch line. It includes, you know, a mug, a sweater. The sweater is kind of neat. We'll talk about that in a second. A shirt, a beanie. They've got a few things that are available on their site and some other stuff that's available on their partner sites, which the people that make it. This is their holiday promotion. It's got the merch, the knitted sweater, the wrapping paper, a slider ornament. And they also have last year's sweater up there. Surprisingly, these are cheap. $24 for a holiday sweater. And this year's holiday sweater is kind of cool. It comes in sizes up to 5X because you know the guys that eat White Castle are probably 4 and 5X, so it's great. And it's only 30 bucks. It's fantastic. But the really cool part about the sweater is that it – you can't really tell by looking at the photo, which they should have taken better photos, but this has lights built into it, like Christmas lights. So if you go into, like the description says, bring in this holiday season with White White Castle's craveable blue sweater featuring a light-up snow globe. The lights are adjusted by a discreet button tucked away within the seams. So you can show up at a party and all of a sudden turn this on, and it's got lights on the front and the back. That's pretty cool. I'm digging that. I wish we had White Castles around here because I would love to buy a sack of those and light up our Christmas sweaters. Light up our Christmas parties, I mean, with Christmas sweaters. Oh, here's another one. Uh, here's here's This is one of their partner hats. I mean, I'm sorry, partner sites from a place called Minnows. What's it called? Angry Minnow Vintage. And they've got all kind of vintage stuff, and this is a retro hat, but it's got a brand new patch on the front. A White Castle patch, but the hat looks pretty distressed. Looks cool. That's the Angry Minnow Angry Mento Vintage White Castle cap. Uh, next up is for Cheetos lovers. If you've got anybody in your orbit that is a Cheetos fan or snack food fan, they will love this. A Cheetos blender. It's specifically made to produce orange dust pretty cool you uh and they're selling this on amazon right now they started selling it well they started selling it as of the 21st 
which was last Monday, if you're watching this on Thanksgiving. But it's pretty cool. In fact, I have a – oh, here, here they have a whole site, cheetosduster.com, and it bounces you over to the Amazon page. I'm going to play their little video for this. Tired of the same old recipes? Do you wish your boring food could become better food with Cheetos? Introducing the Cheetos Duster. It turns Cheetos into the perfect ingredient for all your recipes. Whoa! Delicious! It's so cheesy to use. Just fill, blend, and dust. Put Cheetle on pizza, wings, hot dogs. Put it on poutine. Don't forget donuts. Mmm, yummy. Even on my layered sardine loaf? Dust, yeah. Whoa-wee! Arvin, come look at this! Cheese-tastic. The Cheetos Duster is life-changing. But don't just take our word for it. The Cheetos Duster made me famous! The Cheetos Duster made my meals edible. The Cheetos Duster gave me a dust dash. The Cheetos Duster got me into college. <laughs> Thanks, Cheetos Duster. Thanks, Cheetos Duster. The Cheetos Duster, now available at CheetosDuster.com. While supplies last, get yours today. Or don't. Cheetos Duster. Dust, yeah. Cheetos Duster does not guarantee that Cheetos Duster will make you famous or get you into college. It will not harm your mustache, but it will most definitely make your meals cheesy and delicious. It's beautiful. Pretty cool. I don't know. I'm The commercial's funny as heck, but Chelsea Cheetle getting into college. That's awesome. I guess it's like a, uh, I guess it's pretty much like a coffee bean grinder or something like that. So it's, and I think these fingerprints that are on it are part of the design. I don't think it's a, I don't think that's comes. Yeah. They're in, they're embedded in there. So you don't have fingerprints all over your thing all the time. I mean, you do have fingerprints all the time because you can't wash them off. It might be clumsy. I don't know, but still a clever idea. They, they don't say how much this is. So when it's available, well, I guess by now, you'll be able to go on here and see it. But like right now on the website, it's not released yet because I, like I told you, this is pre-recorded. Anyway, that's all I got about that. Uh, the next one is, oh, you like Irish whiskey? I know I like Irish whiskey. Our buddies at Jameson have released a festive Christmas tree made out of whiskey bottles. I'm sorry. For empty whiskey bottles, it's an alternative to evergreens. Now, last year they invent they they released one of these nine feet tall. This particular one's only three feet tall for a tabletop, a little more realistic. I mean, it holds nineteen bottles. So you say, oh, that's a scam. They want you to get nineteen bottles. No, they give you the empty nineteen bottles to go with it, and they give you a full bottle of Jameson. Which one is it? Jameson Black Barrel Irish Whiskey. whiskey. A, a full bottle of that comes with it. So for $27, you get a full bottle of hooch, 19 empty Jameson bottles, and this Christmas tree stand. I think it's kind of cool. So if you're into, I mean, I don't know how. <laughs> Again, it would be kind of like a redneck Christmas tree stand thing for Miller Lite to go with your Jameson Christmas tree. I don't know. I think it's kind of fun. If you're a boozer, that's, that's for you. Last thing I have for Christmas is a gift that keeps on giving all year round. Our buddies at Denny's have a $6 t-shirt. The t-shirt has a QR code on it. Starting January 1st of 2023, you can wear this shirt to Denny's and you get a free everyday value slam. A six dollar T shirt, and you can, I don't know, you have to. It's got a QR code on it. I don't know if you have to actually wear the shirt or just take it in. So conceivably, if you have to wear it, you have to wear it, go to breakfast, come home, wash it, wear it the next day. However, however you do your laundry, you don't, or never wash it. Who cares? But I don't know if you have to wear it or just take it in. But still, you get to eat breakfast every day for six bucks. Six bucks one time. That's worth over two thousand dollars. Somebody did the math. $2,186 worth of breakfast. Um, I'm all about it. But again, do they have the sizes? I don't think they have the sizes. 
uh, they only go up to extra large. Now, the kind of people that eat Denny's breakfast, especially eat Denny's breakfast every day, are probably bigger than extra large. That's one thing I have against it. Uh, it's, it's not. I'm, it's not against it. It's just it's not very thoughtful on their part. Um, the, but the thing that's cool is, you know, usually they say for stuff like this, this is available at participating locations, and you never know which ones are not. Here's a list of all the non-participating Denny's. There's a few. There's not many, but they're you know they're all over the country. I don't know how many Denny's there are compared to that are on this list. But I did notice a couple in Dallas. I'm sorry, one in Dallas and a few in Houston that are not participating. If you show up in the shirt, you're still going to have to buy, for your, buy your breakfast. So there you go. Um, that is it for this Thursday edition of the Big Promo Cast. I'm sorry, for this Thanksgiving edition of the Big Promo Cast. Uh, I do want to say thanks to some people, though. I want to thank all our customers that have kept us busy all, all year long. We appreciate it. We wouldn't be doing this without you. I also want to give a shout out to the, uh, or a big thanks to my buddies in the creator's pod. Uh, we started, we, we got together as a mastermind kind of accountability group around the first of the year. And we've been doing it. We've been meeting every Saturday or every week, at least since, since the first of the year, actually it started before that, but it wasn't an official group before the first of the year. So, and then a few months ago we started talking about doing a podcast, I think it's September, and we've done an episode every week. I'll put a link to that as well. That goes up every Wednesday. Um, And uh, we're a couple episodes ahead, so we made it through episode, by the time you hear this, it'll be episode eight will be up. So that might give you something to do over the weekend, over the long holiday weekend, give you some stuff to listen to, see how content creators are from all different walks of, you know, all different endeavors are, are doing their stuff, so. Uh, one of our people is a uh, is a home cook and a, not a homesteader, but you know has a little farm out where she raises a little garden where she raises all kinds of stuff out in the country in Washington. Another one's a tech content creator in Thailand, but he's from the UK. Another one is a branding person from Atlanta. Uh, another one is a field hockey umpire. Very weird stuff, but she's also got a Discord thing, so. Anyway, people from all kinds of areas doing all kinds of stuff, but it's all based around creating content in general. It's not just video content. It's audio podcasts. It's short form videos, long form video. It's TikToks and all that kind of blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I have fun messing with all those guys. Oh, and we have another guy that just lost a, an election for school board in Arizona, but he's okay. But he he's not on the podcast yet. We're trying to get him to come in. His, his gig is... uh. Disney travel. So anyway, but we hope to uh, reel him in pretty soon. That's all I got for this one. Appreciate everybody doing everything. And I'm going to hit this end button right now. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Go Cowboys.